We're aware of the fact that as people are walking past a store or any kind of a display, you really have somewhere between three and seven seconds to capture their interest. And having motion in the window helps do that. We know that people like seeing things move. They literally can cycle through hundreds and hundreds of thousands of, of operations before uh, it requires service or maintenance or hopefully before it breaks down. It's got to work from, uh, from opening night until uh, the end of uh, just right around New Year's. Yep. Most of the animations were figure animations. We'd move an arm up and down, we would move a body back and forth. Uh, as the years progressed, we started getting into bigger and bigger, more complex animations. We're inventing techniques where we're constantly testing how to join different types of materials, metals and plastics. We're pushing the limits of our 3D printer. Not only do we use our 3D printer to print uh, visual elements, but we're also using the 3D printer to print production mechanical parts. I think the most important thing is the ability for us to time our displays and have a timeline that sort of tells a story. So one thing happens and one part of the window, a few seconds later something else happens. And you can really create this dynamic timeline where people kind of can read the story throughout the window. We're really, I think, in the theatrical business as much as we're in uh, the display business, particularly because the art patients wind up in, in windows. We're actually given a chance to perform, but we're not on stage. So everybody that works here has a chance to express themselves. Uh, and you know, we're generally expressing our clients' visions, but we're using our own internal creativity to make that happen. We're gonna continue to push that envelope uh, whether it be optical sensing or touch sensing or gesture swiping. Um, and I think uh, you're going to see a lot of really cool stuff in the next few years. <laughs>